Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday, and I'm gonna try not to be as preachy this episode, because I've been doing that a lot. Uh, but honestly, it's 99% because I don't have anything else to say about this level. <laughs> I am just grinding to beat it, and so that really doesn't leave me with as much to talk about. Aside from my constant failure. I wonder, is this is, is this designed to be one of the hard levels? Because, I mean, it feels hard, of course. Don't take that out of context. Uh, it seems difficult, of course, right? You know, just, just based on my experience playing it so far. But... I, I could also see it being like, oh yeah, actually no, this one this one wasn't actually that hard, and, <laughs> and I'm just bad. <laughs> like that's always a possibility. But I'm fairly certain there's going to be a checkpoint after after we uh, get to get through Morton's fight. All right, well, ow. Okay, that didn't work at all. Well, that'll have to do. There we go. All right. I don't have to do anything fancy here. I just have to bounce off that thing. That's probably just the best way to beat Roy. Uh, what about this strat? Okay, nope. Didn't, could not react in time to that. Should have gone left instead of right. Okay, good to know. Alrighty. Yeah, it's, it's like I said. I don't have much left to say about this level, so... Yeah, I don't know what else to do. What else to talk about? I mean, I could talk about other games, I guess. Say hey, that Pokemon Legends Arceus, that's pretty neat. I still don't get why people say it looks like crap. I mean, the best thing I can think of is like in the resolution on some of the textures. It's like not great, but get <laughs> resolution isn't everything. Art direction does way more than fidelity does. Just look at fucking God Four, not the remake, the original. I mean, the remake probably has the same problem, or will probably have the same problem in ten years, and then it'll look awful because all they were going for is, oh, make it look real. Are you kidding me? You dick. Right, hold on. Do that. Nope, didn't work. Cool. Alright. It's fine. Yeah, I mean... It looks like a PS2 game. You look like a PS2 game. <laughs> uh, I also saw a meme where it was like, I've played PS2 games, that's a compliment. You know, it's, it's that one screenshot from Rodel Dorado. Which is a good movie, by the way. I watched it specifically because back before Disney Plus was even a thing, I couldn't find Hercules on Netflix. That was, they had Disney movies back then, but they didn't have Hercules. So I was like, oh man, what am I supposed to watch instead? So I ended up watching Rodale Dorado. And that's a, that's a good movie. <laughs> like, I feel like it's one of those films that really catches uh, the, uh, the, really catches the spirit of a uh, tabletop role playing game. It really feels like it could be a campaign of D&D. &D. <laughs> and I, that, that I really like. I really like that. I mean, it's got, it's got that mix of seriousness, but also mostly goofiness because I don't know about you guys, but Typically, when I play D&D, it's uh, like uh, you, you can't get the players to stop. <laughs> you can't get the players to stop joking around. You really just can't. 
Aside from the like one or two super serious moments. Like pretty much the only way to get them to be serious is to almost kill them. <laughs> Could you stop? Thank you. Now. <sighs> yeah, Rhode Island Dorado. Good movie. I dig it. Also, really well an animated. Like, I'd, <laughs> I'd say it was, it's one of my favorite Disney movies, but it's not a Disney movie. <laughs> Weird. It definitely, it's it's interesting, right? It definitely. I would say it looks a lot like a Disney movie, but it's there's there's definitely a little bit of a different spirit, and it's it's got its own charm, which is great. Also, Disney doesn't do 2D animation anymore, so yeah. I really don't like that. I really. That's probably, that might even be my least favorite thing about Disney. I know there's like a long list of things you can, <laughs> that people don't like about Disney, but that's probably my least favorite thing is like, they don't do 2D animation anymore. And that's, that's lame. Like, I feel like there's not enough 2D animation out there anymore. I mean, I think the most you get is like YouTube animators and they're great, don't get me wrong. I, mean, I love me some some Jane animations, but you you don't get it from the, the like big studios anymore, you know. You don't get your Lilo and Stitch or your Rodel Dorado or any of that. Just because it's it's oh, it's cheaper to go with 3D, you know. And now everyone's used to 3D, so it's like why what? Of course, why wouldn't they go with 3D? I don't know, what is it about 2D animation that I'm like, I really like this, that 3D animation doesn't have? So I honestly don't know. I don't know, I don't know why it is that I like 2D animation better. And I, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, like, it's, it's something about, honestly, I think it just, maybe it just has to do with the fact that, you know, that 2D animation is drawn, right? Like, yes, you have stuff like motion tweening that can exist. Um, but traditionally, and I think even most commonly, you, for people who do still do 2D animation, uh, yeah, it's, you, you know, each frame is drawn. And that's that's cool as opposed to 3d animation where it's like okay well i've got this model and now i just need to move it around and i'm saying it as if that's really easy to do it's not right it's not well okay it's easy to do but it's not easy to do well <laughs> um, right it's 3d animation isn't easy either but i don't know man i, I, I guess there's just there's not as much drawing you know I think I think drawing's a neat thing. I feel like I don't know why, but some part of me is just feels like there's more art to 2D animation than there is 3D. And I just I, I, that that could just be why I feel like I have a greater appreciation for 2D than 3D. So yeah, in summary, 2D greater than 3D. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not talking about waifus. <laughs> Although, <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, I do, I do like, I do like. Two Honestly, what studios? What like film studios or even cartoon studios are doing? One of them are doing 2D animation. I, I guess we have like Peppa Pig. It's still 2D animation. I think the uh, the Baby Shark video. It's not. I wouldn't really call that a studio thing, but um, it's big and popular. Uh, I, I think you know the Baby Shark video is 2D animation, if I recall correctly, and you know, that that's got more views than just about anything on the internet. <sighs> I 
know. I'd like to see more. And honestly, <laughs> typically my solution when I'm in this position of like, yeah, I want to see more of this thing is for is, is to just make it myself. <laughs> And maybe we'll get there someday, but um, that's gonna be uh, it's gonna, that, that's a ways away. I would need to learn how to draw first. Just in itself, not easy. And also, animation just takes time, like a ton of time. As cool it is as it is, it's not easy. And it is one of the many, many things that I would like to do with my life. So I would like to you know, at least put out an animation that I would be proud of. You know? And who knows how long that would take me. Honestly, that's, that's where a lot of the pressure I put on myself comes from, you know? Where there's just so many, so many things that I want to do in life. You know, so many things. I want to want to make a career out of making videos on the internet, streaming, stuff like that. I want to animate. I want to sing. I want to make me you know, compose music. I want to uh, basically do anything and everything creative. And, you know, because I want to do all of these things and I want to get at least, you know, decently good at them, you know, I want to at least have something I can be proud of in each field. I feel like I have to, I end up feeling like I have to, like, do as much as possible at any given time. Simply because if I don't, then there's a chance that I just, I just don't get everything done. Oh yeah, D and D. That's also a thing that I would like to do. I mean, I am doing it, but to actually build this world of Aralia out into something cool. I mean, it, okay, it's already kind of cool, but you know, something, something like I had envisioned. You know, something like the world that inspired it. Which we shall not name. Well, okay, you know what? We can name the world. Virum. Something like Virum. Because Virum was great. First new made it, maybe not. But Virum was great. And I want I want to do something like that. Fucking come out of your shell, dude. Come on. <laughs> Ugh. Dick. Alright. Yeah, by the way, that's that's the plan for Eralia. And it's, I know it seems weird, considering we've hardly even gotten ourselves through a single campaign. In fact, we're, we're still working on the first campaign a year in. <laughs> but there is another campaign that will be happening soon, almost undoubtedly. There have been steps made to start this campaign. It won't be, it won't be streamed like Box of Beginnings has been. Uh, most likely. I mean, maybe. Maybe it will be, but I'm, I'm highly doubting it. But it will take place in that same world, and you will probably see the effects of it in later streams, later campaigns. And also, the guys currently playing in Box of Beginnings, they're, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna wanna, gonna wanna do another campaign after this one. So, <laughs> yeah. They'll probably be back, and we'll probably be back streaming again with that same group, but probably a different party and campaign and all that. Although it could be the same party. Honestly, I haven't ruled out a sequel to Box of Beginnings, like a direct sequel. Because there is stuff that we could do. But I also know that some of the guys just want to mix up their characters, you know? And it's awkward to do that. It'd be awkward to like implement those new characters into a party with the old characters who are you know, already like level five or six. It'd be awkward. It'd be hard to do. 
So ultimately, the, the choice is pretty much just either starting a new campaign with new characters or a new campaign with the same characters. Or an alternative. We could... The next campaign could be with new characters, but then we could come back to the old party. That is a possibility as well, you know? And I haven't even discussed that possibility with the guys, but it's also possible, yeah. It's, it's maybe something that could happen. <sighs> so, yeah. Because again, you know, in, in this... Uh, in this, what do we call it? This prologue. I'll call it a prologue. In this prologue era of Iralia, because that's that's what I'm seeing this as. It's kind of just set up for, you know, introducing the world of Iralia and setting up the events that are going to be happening over the course of the first arc, as one might call it. Because, hey, by the way, I do have, like, a real big overarching story already. No, I haven't written it down yet, but it's definitely, it's, it's a solid idea in my head at this point, you know. So there is, in fact, a, uh, <laughs> there's, there's a lot more to the story than what's happening right now. What was that? Did I even finish that sentence? <laughs> Did I even finish the one sentence? There's a lot more to come. That's what I'm saying. And we're we're currently in the prologue, and even in the prologue, there's still quite a bit more to do. So, as far as introducing the world and the story and stuff, and also I could just use a little bit of practice before we start getting into the real meat of the meat of the story, because. I'd like to point this out. Accounting for breaks, I'm still, I've still only got like a year, a half, year and a half of DMing experience. So, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Definitely thought I was going to land on him there, but that's fine. And it'll probably still be fine next time. Because, uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap. Where was that ice pack?